you guys see this tote? Right up there, it says Grammys. Oh, another leather skirt. A Grammy was a little crazy. Not again. Not again. Oh my goodness, I can't believe it. This has been a hails of a good storage unit. If you remember, the Amish were bidding me up. And the Amish are just like you and me. They're just more Amisher. So we've found all kinds of great items in here so far. We have found money. We have found gold. We have found silver. And we even found the last will and testament. And we want to do whatever we can to find all those items to give them back to the actual family members that they were bequested to. So the treasure hunt continues. But before we go on the treasure hunt, we've got to go make some more money somewhere else. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell for all notifications. And when you get a survey, make sure you tell YouTube just how satisfied you are. Taking all the metal that you get from storage units is another great way to make money. And thankfully, the scrap yard is just less than 500 feet away from the warehouse. So today, we're gonna take the old appliances. This was in an apartment fire. This was in my actual kitchen, and the top burner went out. And then this is just all kinds of random pots and pans. They're rough. They would never, ever sell. Right, George? So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna scrap this in so George gets a little bit of extra allowance money this week. It's always a good idea if you have time, if you have time, and that's the big factor, to actually sort out your metals, your aluminum, your copper, your steel, your stainless, the whole deal. I don't have that kind of time, but if you do, you can make a lot more money that way. For me, it's just all goes to the scrap yard. The 1980s just called. They want their phone back. But I think he uses it to lay the, the metal down. That's it's probably the, the only cooler job. I wonder how much they make. Than the job I have. <laughs> Where do we apply? Now that we've been weighed on the huge massive scales, we get this receipt right here. And we take this over to a little bit of a ATM machine and we press a button and it's going to scan and now it's going to spit out our money and we're going to make George guess how much she gets. Okay, George, you can't see how much. Guess how much, how much money did we get? $10 and some change. How much change? Are you peeking? I think you're peeking. That's your final guess? Ten dollars and some change. Mm -hmm. You got fifty cent right there. That looks like thirty. 
Okay, you got 30 cent. I was never the strong one with math. You got $5, $10, there you go. There's your $10 and change, and I get to keep this, right? Well, what's the total? 15, 16, 17, 18. 18. 1830. That was a good year. It's time to dig back in. This treasure hunt is on. So let's see what we got. Come on, let's open it up. Here we go. It's cold. It's windy. It's snowy. It's rainy. Which is why I got the sorting table in there today. Let's take a peek, okay? Let's jump inside and see where we're still at. All right, I think what I'm going to do is going to try and sort right in here on the table today. And look at this. We got stuff that fell over from yesterday. We still have all these totes to go through. Uh-oh, George is calling. I better answer. I de-duct taped this. There was a ton of duct tape on it so that we could get inside. So let's pop it and let's see what do we have here. Oh my, you know what? We probably, oh wow, this is gonna be a ton of history. Oh yeah, for sure, this is gonna be a ton of history. Look at this, all right. I, I gotta pause this, I gotta put the flash on. Look at this, this is amazing. Much better now, look at this. We've got bags and bags of keys. Now, we're, we're gonna have a keychain lot in our auction this Sunday night. So there is a keychain lot and some of this stuff will probably come from here. Look at this, like uh, Yorkshire Terrier, no doubt that one will be in there. Now you won't get the actual keys, but you will get keychains as keychains are so collectible. Again, keychains have their own area and special categorization on eBay because they are so collectible. I've sold, oh my goodness, look at this. I've sold some keychains, world-class quality. Look at that keyboard. I've sold some keychains for a hundred plus dollars. I sold a Lost in Space uh, keychain, oh, I don't know, that's probably only $200. So we've got old school photos. This is, like I already shared, this is 1957. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, now this stuff I don't mind showing because this stuff is so collectible on eBay. People buy this all the time for scrapbooking. Look at that. Maybe that's the guitar we have in the guitar case. Maybe, maybe not. We'll have to find out. Okay. Uh, and obviously we want to do whatever we can to help get this stuff back. But I, I just love this. I love the history. Look at that. Maybe, maybe the family were gangbangers. I don't know. You know, gangsters. Holy cow. Holy coyote. Something happened. Wow. Um, that's pretty intense. Oh, look at this. Look at this here. Look at this. One of the old school albums. Okay. This is like old, old. This is cool stuff. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, I see stamps. I saw stamps. I was peeking. I saw stamps. It was somewhere here. Where was it? It was... was it there. Here's a lottery winning ticket for, I don't know, $10. Okay. Look at that there. Sandwiches on the platter, on the silver platter. The double Q. I don't know what that is. Oh, man. Okay, look at this. Look at this old school stuff. Look at that. Look at that. Like old school mobster right there. How cool. Love the fashion. Obviously, it's the fashion. It's not actually. But, man, how cool is that? Oh, wow. Look at the old. Would that be a tricycle? No, that's a quad. Look at the actual old bike. Is that a bike or like a scooter or some of you would know. I don't I don't know all of that. Oh wow. There's a ship right there. No doubt there's gonna be probably military. Yep, here's here's military right here. Look at that. Look at that photo. Military either going off to the military or just came back. Probably World War I mean it could be it could be World War One, could be World War Two. 
My guess, my guess is World War One. Okay, I'm gonna go through all of these later, just because of the the tremendous amount of amazing history. There you go. Look at there. There's a cannon. Any guesses on when this is from? This is Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. That's where that came from. How cool is that? So this stuff. Let's see, is there any money in there? Pilgrim's Church. There's just so much history in here. This is where, I mean, you could find anything and everything in a tote like this. Barefoot in the booger holler. Like I just said, anything and everything. Barefoot in the booger holler. Yesterday saying to live by today. Wow. Okay. We got more more photos. This is just there could be a coin collection in here. There could be, you know, I've seen all kinds of stuff like that in, in totes like this. Here's a state of Indiana court document. Executor's final account and petition to settle and allow account and authorize to distribute an estate. All right, here is the entire court document to distribute an estate. So that was probably a previous family member. This stuff is important to people, and, and they may not even know it's here. Look at, oh my goodness. All right, remember we found the living will and testament folder? Here's the marriage and divorce info. So there could be stuff from the divorce people don't know. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, it looks like there's some more cool stuff down here. Let me... That is a wedding photo from probably the 70s. Alright, there's some, definitely some more stuff down here that isn't just family photos. Let me see. I think we got some collectible stuff down here. A ton of family photos. Like, for example, look at this. Look at that. You guys remember what these are called? They have the boink, and then boink, boink, and then how many are in here? Boink, boink, oh no way. You think there's another one? And then, oh my goodness, there's another one. I think that's the last one. Okay, I forget what these are called, but you guys, no doubt, you know. Put it in the comments if you remember what those are called. But that was probably a family heirloom passed down. Got more. Oh, wow. Look at this. It's got to be a graduation picture from something. And what's this? What's this? Okay. We got a sports. We got a sports timer. We may use this for the auction. We may use that. Because the, the bidding is actually going to be timed. You won't have all the time in the world. You're going to have a minute to win it come the auction. You got to bid fast. And you got a bit furious. Wow. Okay. Let me go through all this cool stuff. And look at that. Look at that. And if I find anything else amazing, I'll set it aside and I'll show you what it all looks like, okay? I did find quite a few more cool gems in that box. Check this out. There's a picture, old school picture of a peacock. Now, I used to have peacocks and absolutely loved them they were so fun to have on the property so that was cool for me um a little birthday thing here and then check this out i found this bag of that says diary 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 memorandum you've got some old school photos here too now i haven't opened these yet so i thought maybe we could try and at least get a time frame 1934 oh my goodness 34 this is almost almost 85 years ago all right january 1st now most of you millennials will not be able to read this because this is called cursive but it is a form of writing from the 30s i helped with the work today oh i helped with the work study play i love Mr. Moore, January 2nd, I helped with the work study play I Love Mr. Moore. Okay, so I, I Love Mr. Moore, study, play, work. Okay, somebody's definitely in love. Okay, is there anything other than I love? Yes, there is. There's a bunch more. All right, let's see what the date is on this one. This is so fascinating. Just to get a glimpse back into... 
Oh my goodness, 1933. All right, so this one is even before then. Um, wow, 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 wow. How cool. Okay, here's a memorandum. So let's take a peek here. And Canal Street. Walking down Canal Street, number 44. Wow. How cool is that? Very, very, very cool. See what we have here. We've got uh, Bath and Oh Yeah. Bath, that may be a good one to go through. Let's look, look at this one. This one's up top. We've got, wow, that is, that's a ton of romance novels. I just, I do not want to go through all of those. So normally, you know, I'd look through every single page for money. I just, I don't have time. Even if there's $100 in there and it takes me two hours, it's not worth it for me. So these, I'm just going to take all of these, give them to Goodwill. But maybe... Okay, there could be something in here. I'm curious about the oh yeah. So let's find out what the oh yeah is. All right, all new bath where we find a lot of jewelry, which we have found in this unit. Oh, let me get the knife. Bath and oh yeah, which let's face it, we found quite a few oh yeahs in this unit too, right? I think you know what I'm talking about. Come on. There we go, I got it loose. All right. Looks like we got some clothes. Let's get this out. Now, some clothes can bring us some cash. There's no doubt, right? We know that. We'll see if we can find some old school rock tees, old school 80s stuff. Like if we were to find like seven, oh, there you go, Coca-Cola, like this. If we were to find something like Coke, I was just going to say the Red Spot, if you remember Spot from 7-Up, that could bring us some money. This is going to go in, in the Sunday night auction. Gloves, I'm going to hold on to those. I got a tote of gloves over here. And, oh, look at that, another Coke shirt, okay? So that is going to go in the Coke lot. This will go over there. Now, Steeler stuff, this will sell as well, okay? So you got the Steelers. So old school Steelers, sports memorabilia, absolutely. Look at the cut V right there, yeah. that's There's some money there, but I want to know where the oh yeah is. Where is the oh yeah? And the oh yeah may be wrapped up in some of this clothing. Old polo, is this polo? It is, I don't know what it is. Oh, R-U-F-G, I don't know. I have no clue what that is. But uh, some of that old stuff, the wrap worn polo, that stuff can go from really well too. There's an old heating pad, not what we're looking for. Here's some old binkies, pacifiers. Not sure if that's the oh yeah, but not what I'm particularly interested in. Dallas Cowboys. Come on, there's got to be something. Budweiser mug, but it's not in there. That's not the oh yeah. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. Is there? Is there something in here? You think this is the oh yeah? Nah, nothing. Nothing. Nope. I don't see the oh yeah in here. Let's find it in the next one. When I picked up this tote, it, I, there's memory foam pillows on the top. I thought it was all bedding, but I was wrong, so I had to turn the camera back on. Look at this, okay? Now, it got stuck, but this is an original McDonald's Presents Little Miss Piggy right there. That is from 1988. Can you guys read that? I can't read it because of the lights in my eyes. All right, so there is a Miss Piggy. Now, check this out. It gets better. It does get better. Because I saw right next to Miss, yes, oh, the cellophane is stuck. Okay, so there is a baby Fozzie Bear. Remember the Muppet Babies? We're talking some money here. Okay, now, I see another one. Oh, let me, ah, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, all right, I see. I don't want the cellophane to get stuck. Oh, something's in here. Let's see what's in here. So there's there's obviously some goodies. Maybe you would call it oh yeahs in here. What is that? Okay, this is a, that's a dog figurine. I'm gonna show it to you right there. All right, so dog figurine hidden within the bed stuff, the bedroom stuff. All right, 
It is sticking. I'm trying. I want to keep the cellophane together. All right, this one I was mostly able, eh, I kind of broke in the back. Obviously, if you can keep the packaging together, all the better. Now, it looks dirty. That's the plastic, not the actual baby Kermit. So there's baby Kermit from the Muppet Babies. Oh, this is so cool. All right, there's something else in here. Now, Guardian Angel Bear. This is a Guardian Angel Bear. There's the verse, Psalm 91.11. Uh, I'm going to set this aside. This one is dirty, okay? What else is hidden in here? Just for you, another little baby doll. All right, here's something else. Here's something else. And it's Disney. It is. It's Disney. Here we go. It's Snow White. It's one of the dwarves. And let's see what we got. We've got Disney 65th anniversary. Will help if I put it right in there, huh? 65th anniversary. I'm going to set that aside over here. So there are gems hiding in here. Okay, that is a family photo. I'm going to set that aside. That's a current family photo. There's an... Oh! The whole frame fell out. Alright, let's see what we got. That's more family photos. Okay, I know there's more gems in here. There's got to be. Because those were hiding in there. And another family photo. And this is family photo. And come on, come on, what is it? What is it? What is it? Oh, look what we have here. Oh no, it's one of the old log round clocks, but it's split. It's split. Ah, bummer. Bummer. Those clocks are so cool. Can you guys see this tote? Right up there, it says Grammys and it says Fragile. Now, it had a bunch of duct tape on it. I cut that off and I was like, oh, whoa, underneath it said Grammys and Fragile. So I gotta, I gotta know. I gotta know. If it's Grammys, it could be anything from false teeth to, oh, look at that, a vintage Sony DVD player. And this is DVD, CD, video, CD, digital. All right, so this is one of the old school ones. And remember, this vintage electronic stuff, it sells incredibly well on eBay. Remotes parts, pieces. Even if you have a broken one, you can still sell the parts and pieces, sometimes more than the actual full functioning piece. So hold on to that stuff. Oh, and it looks like Grammy. Ah, she had legs. Ah, and she knew how to use them. Okay. What else is Grammy? What is CPR? CPR. Oh, man. Here's a CPR. Unresponsive child. Bleeding, bleeding. I'm sure most of this has already changed. What's hidden in here? What is hidden in here? Oh, we got a watch. What kind of watch do we have? We got a watch stuck with like some, oh, that's an old rubber band. I don't know what kind of watch that is. I can't see it. I'm sure there's something important in there though. Okay, MP3, okay, this looks like paperwork for more electronics. Oh, there's stuff under here for sure. Uh, what is hidden under here? Oh, we found one of these yesterday. I thought it was GM. I thought it was GM because it looked like... But I guess you guys said Delco is part of GM. So there is another Delco motorway, motorway sports jacket. This one is extra large. I think the other one yesterday might have been large. So there is an extra large on that. Looks like... Whoa! Looks like Grammy... Grammy was into the leather skirts. Hmm. I'll set that aside. That'll, that'll go home with me. And uh, dog getting a bone. What else? Okay, there's toys. There's random toys in here. There's random clothes in here. Let's dig just a little bit. Um, oh, another leather skirt. Grammy was a little crazy. Duct tape off. Let's see what we got here. We have got that's a nice shiny purse. Is it something worth anything? I don't know. Nothing in it. Nothing in that one. So we'll set that one aside. We got here's a Joe Boxer. It's not often we find a Joe Boxer. So let's see what we have hidden inside the Joe Boxer. 
We've got nothing. Remember, always have your gloves on. If you remember the episode where I stuck my finger in a wallet and there was a drug razor blade and sliced my finger, I'd go to the hospital, I'd get tested for everything. Always wear gloves. I probably need better gloves than this right now, but this is what I've got. Okay, this is another purse. I don't know what kind that is. It's kind of a nice one, though. Oh, 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 we found some of this. Was it yesterday? Ka, Kama, Kama Sat Ra, Kama Sat Ra. So some kind of sweet almond. It might be an elixir or, oh no, it looks like it's a massage oil. So Kama Sat Ra massage oil. So that's, yeah, I'll take that home too. I might be able to, oh, here's some more. Kama Sat Ra, the original Kama Sat Ra, uh, oil of love. All right. Might as well try it. Uh, we've got a couple things here. A little box. A little clock. A little, looks like that all matches. Clothing. Clothing. Oh, this is. It is new clothing. Look at that. St. John's Bay. So it was marked right. It is. It's new clothing. For sure. Look at this. It all has tags. So I can make some serious money here. I can just put this straight on eBay. Or George can put it straight on eBay. And we can go from there. Here, looks like we got a vintage tea right here. It's some kind of vintage tea. Would that be Harley Davidson? Um, Sunrise Sportswear. Okay, now one of the ways you can tell vintage tea from a contemporary, you see the single stitch line right there? Okay, that's one line. Contemporary or more, more current t-shirts will have two lines side by side, parallel. So this is an older t-shirt, okay? And that's one of the ways that you can tell is based on the stitching. And there is, there's a nice pair of Levi's I've shared with you guys before. Actually, ah, it's 36. I'm a 36, but I'm also a 36 length. I'm a big boy. So some Levi's, the originals, they can go for, for hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. More brand new stuff, kitty cats. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. I like, I like it when we get new stuff. So that's a bonus. You know, more down here, more clothing. Oh, come on, come on. Look at this. Everything has... Oh, that one was only $6. Everything looks like it's brand new. And it it looks like granny's. Look at that. Definitely looks like granny stuff. My heart belongs to America. America! Okay, we got a metal thing here, and we got a... Eureka! Eureka! The Super Broom. And it looks like... Yeah, looks like it's actually in there. It is, it's in there. So there's the Eureka, the Super Broom. Okay, so that we got. Oh, check that out. Is that, this is a toy, right? An old, oh, it is. It, look, there's the Tonka. Tonka right there, old Tonka, Winnebago Indian. Oh, that's, oh, that's broke. And, okay, the top comes off. Uh, it looks like, okay, that goes right there. We got toys? We got another one. Let's see. Uh, we got a little change purse inside the purse. And nothing. And then we've got, we got the little scissors. I've been looking for a set just like this. Because, you know, the older I get, the longer my eyebrow hairs get. And I was just wanted to clip them like this. But those ones are dirty. I'm not going to hold on to those. We'll just toss those over there. There's toys in here, too. There's a bunch of toys. We'll pull that out and look at that in just a second here. So, oh, 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 we got jewelry. We got jewelry. Hold a second. We got jewelry. We got jewelry. This might be. Let's see. Is it nine two five? Is it silver? That's the big question. Is it silver? It doesn't look like it. Looks like it's Avon, not nine two five. Unfortunately. Okay. We got number one mom, and we got. Oh my, not again. 
Not again. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. You know what this is, right? Look, it's baggied up. I can't freaking believe it. That makes this... I can't believe it. Found We found it again. We. This is another mass load of drugs. And this time, I'm not going to go to the local police because last time they actually treated us like we were the criminals. So we're going to have to dispose of this. Yeah, whoa, 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 yeah, yep, yep, yep. All right, you guys can see it right there. You guys can see it right there. I don't want to get too close in place as fentanyl, but I just poked a hole and you can see the dust. This is, this is not okay. See it right there? So this is another mass amount of drugs we found. Oh, Jesus, it's getting everywhere. All right, I got to clean this up. It's going to have to stop here.